Sometimes it's easy to give up and walk away, but a local art group has chosen the harder route of persistence in reaction to vandalism of some of its murals. Our Brittany Moncrief shows us how Paint Memphis is back better and stronger. This is the art of resilience. I keep knocking on doors and getting more walls and, and we're making it happen. The action speaking louder than the words. Karen Golightly is the executive director of Paint Memphis. Each year, artists across the country paint murals on buildings for their annual festival. But last year, the festival was canceled due to COVID. However, artists painted murals anyway, only to be met by another villain. Someone came out and started tagging Karen all over some of the murals so in two different locations. Karen, 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 right over the artist's works. There's sort of a code of that you don't go and tag over somebody else that's put all this time and effort into it. A code broken that now has a fix with the return of the festival this year. We're gonna coat them with anti-graffiti coating because any sort of tags on them can be scrubbed off. Some murals have been fixed, but for those that haven't, artists will come back this year to complete those restorations. Our theme this year is community. And so, and we're stressing the unity of community. Everybody really missed this sort of um, opportunity to collaborate and really get to know each other and network. This year, everybody will be masked and vaccinated. If you're coming from the general public, you have to wear a mask even though it's outside. Watching safely as more than 160 artists. It's our biggest year yet. Paint with the stroke of vengeance against the pandemic and the Karen Vandal. In downtown Memphis, I'm Brittany Moncrease reporting. Well, the festival will take place October 9th at a new location. We have more for you if you click on this story at localmemphis.com.